Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today a video about how to best remove bark from your slabs and about a tool that I discovered recently, a power tool that is really useful if you have to do that very often. When we talk about bark, then we're talking about the outer crust of a tree, right? And um, when you buy a slab and the slab dries out, very often that bark peels off because the material from the wood and the bark are different and so they dry out in different densities, like in different expansion. And then after a while, it starts to peel off, come loose. And so often when you buy a slab, it might not even have the bark on it. If it has the bark on it, very often it's easy to remove because you can already see a lot of like gaps and you can just peel it off yourself um, or with a little bit of help. And so a couple of things that you can typically do is you take just a chisel and then chisel it away. Or there are these drawing knives where you can pull, put it in and then peel them off slowly and they magically disappear and you have the life edge. But sometimes it happens that you buy a slab that is dry, but the bark stayed on. And I have no idea why this happens. Sometimes it's really, really like glued on and it dried out, but like still it stays. And so we have here an example of that. So you see here, this is a cookie slab, it's chestnut, and it has all the bark on it and it's dry, but it's really sticking to the wood. There's no cracks that you can really use. So removing this will take a lot of time. You have to chisel it and it's very sticky. And then um, you have rests on it because if you look here very closely, right? You have these different layers of the bark and that um, brown, that light brown one is really glued to um, the wood. And so removing that just takes a lot of time. It's really fiddly. And um, it's not my favorite work to do that. Um, after you remove whatever you can, you then have to sand, like, and, and the sanding takes time. Uh, and there's like different layers and depending what layer it is, like it takes more time. And it's just labor intensive and not the most fun work, at least for me. And so what I want to show you is a power tool that I discovered is really helpful for that kind of work. So if you uh, have to peel off a lot of uh, bark often, then it might be worth for you considering buying it. It is uh, not super um, cheap. It's uh, depending where you live, it's around 300 bucks, something like that. But um, if you do that often, it might be worth it. If, if not, then uh, you just do it uh, by hand as I did for many years. Um, so the tool is called, is from the, from the brand um, Arbortech and I have no relation to that company, neither, or neither did they buy, pay me anything to do this video or anything like that. Um, I just um, happen to have discovered that it's really helpful for that kind of work and that's why I want to show it to you. I had this tool laying around my workshop for a while because um, a, a creator uh, that, that creates woodworking videos on, on YouTube that I uh, used to watch in the past um, used that for something and so um, I found it fascinating, bought it, tried it out, but I kind of like didn't really figure out what to best use it for and so it was laying around for a while from time to time I used it. And so it's called the Mini Carver. And uh, you see it's um, this device that has a little wheel here on the front. And there's two modes you can use it for. Um, you have, uh, now currently there is a sanding disc on it. But um, let's start with the knife, the carving knife. So the carving knife, you can put that on there. It's like that and it has a blade. And so when you use that, um, it's, it's made to carve wood. So it just chops away wood and because it's small and you can um, um, handle it pretty easily, you can 
carve out shapes into wood. Like there's people who do like statues or animals or these kind of things using this device. Uh, it requires some training or like some some um, um, expertise, but uh, through time you will learn how to use it and you can carve out shapes. I, I don't use it for that really, um, but what I discovered is that using this knife, you can chop away that bark pretty quickly. You can just plow through it, just remove it, and like it's dusty, it's a dirty, uh, dirty tool, like all the bark just disintegrates and you can just um, chop it away. And so that goes, pre goes pretty quickly, much quicker than doing it by hand. Um, and so that's the first, um, the first step that you do, and you see that here um, on this video. Now, the second function of this tool, which I like, um, even more is the sanding, uh, if you use it for sanding. So you see that here, instead of this um, blade, um, there is a sanding disc that comes with the tool and there is like a round sanding paper that you put, it, put on it like this, right? It has a hole and you put it on it and then um, with high speed, because this um, turns really fast, you can uh, start sanding and because this disc is flexible it moves it adapts to the shape of the wood the life edge right and so you can very quickly sand down the remainings of the bark remove them with a sanding disc without losing the shape of the life edge because you don't want to lose that right you want to have the life edge and so uh, you can use it with different grains typically i go just for 40 and 80 um, and then after that, I, I just use a normal sander to uh, make it smooth. Um, and you can really fast, uh, like, remove the remaining of the bark and, um, and move on with more interesting work. And so that, that, these two functions of, of uh, the Arbor Tech mini cover I have found to be really helpful in the last couple of months. I did a bunch of... Uh, tables using cookie slabs and they often had bark and removing the bark with arbor tech was just much faster and much more fun now um one more thing you have to buy these uh little discs here right the sanding discs and they're not they're not super expensive but they are kind of expensive if you think that it's not a lot of um sanding paper and so what I did is uh, I thought I'm like really smart and I want to tell you so you don't do the same mistake. So I just, I was like, okay, if this is just a sanding disc uh, with a hole in it, I just bought these uh, cheap ones without the hole that you uh, get for Dremel type of um, uh, tools. And I just put a hole in it and put it on the, on the artboard tag. So it turns out that the cheap sanding discs that you can get um, are pretty much, are almost made out of paper, right? It's a little bit harder paper. While the ones from, uh, that you buy for the Arbor Tech, they have like a little, like a little grid in it. They're much harder um, and they um, are built for heavy duty use. And because this is sanding so uh, at a high speed, right? Um, when I put this on with a hole, uh, within a couple of seconds, it just was destroyed. And I had to um, put on another one. And so it didn't work. And I, 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 in the meantime, I just started buying the ones from Arbor Tech, which come in these little bags. And they're a little bit more expensive, but they're really hard. And so you can use them for a long time before they're uh, destroyed. That's it, that's my review uh, for the Arbor Tech Mini Carver. There's a bunch of videos showing you uh, more details about the tool itself, unpacking all these things, right? So you can, you can watch other videos if you're interested. Um, I really just wanted to show how you can use this to speed up the work when you need to remove bark from your slabs. So if you're interested in the Arbor Tech, I leave the links uh, to the Amazon uh, sites uh, to buy it. If you buy it through that, I'll get a couple dollars. So thank you for that. And if you like this little video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and see you around.